and it begins our great adventure into Africa. 30 days the European team have had the cars and now we've got a hands on the GL and the GLA and we're heading into Africa into the wild unknown. Somewhere out there, there's the Paris Dakar route, right? And that's been a lifelong dream for all of us. We'll go find that route and it runs through Morocco and the Western Sahara. That's where we're going. That's what's going to make this whole trip exciting, right? Morocco is a beautiful country to be driving in, at least here at the start of our journey. The motorways are really nice, but the thing to watch out for are speed limits. On the highways, it's 120 kilometers an hour. And when they want you to slow down, they go from 120 to 100 to 80 to 40. In a span of like some 50, 100 meters, and that's where the cops are. The vistas are vast and open. There's a sense of freedom that you get over here. This is Africa, and I love it. Introduction to Morocco, Tangier is an insane place. And it's got the Caspa, the old fort with walls that date back to the very first invaders, the Romans. So it might seem a bit out of character for us to be walking and not driving, but we are here in the Kasbah, in the heart of Tangier city, all narrow alleys in these beautiful buildings. And these narrow alleys, they lead to the tomb of a world famous, in fact, world renowned traveler, Ibn Battuta, who in many ways is the original overlander. He left home at the age of 21 and went to Mecca and from then on he travelled all over the world for 29 years. And if he'd done that today, it would have been 44 countries and about 50 to 75,000 miles. So he finished his book on his world travels in the year 1355 in a place called Fez, which is somewhere not too far from here. And we are driving there tonight. We are going to spend the night at Fez, where this man's book, it was called The World, was finished. I like to think that that's what our cars are doing on this trip. In some ways, this trip is paying homage to old Lebanon. 